Oh. Hey, y'all, what's up? This Disciple Marcello Currents Rain back up in this anti Illuminati all day, anti Freemasons all day, anti telepathy all day, anti gang stalker all day. So basically, this, this video is going to be about um, fasting against witches and warlocks. Fasting against witches and warlocks. Fasting against witches and warlocks. See, the, the problem in the American community is everyone's scared to or uneducated to fight those who oppose God's kingdom. It's, 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 listen, the gloves are off, man. The gloves playtime is over, bro. Like, if you're going to sit by and let people attack you and play, and gang stalk you, witches and warlocks, you know, then, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know what that, I don't, that's not the standard for us as Christians. That's not the standard for us as spiritual warriors. If, if they want to go to war, then we're going to war and we're going to go all the way and we're going to smash and we're not giving any mercy. You know what I'm saying? It's just that simple. We're not gonna let people. We're not gonna let America be a witchcraft fun house. Where it's a it's a witchcraft fun house. Nah, that's not going down like that. The Bible says this: "Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live." That's what the Bible says. Not me. I didn't say it. The Bible said it. The Bible said that basically means God feels witches should die. And, I, and some of you will say, well, I'm a white witch. I don't care what kind of witch you are. The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. That's what it says. We're not, listen, that's the mentality. Is God put, put them to death. God is going to do it. I don't have to do it. Okay? I don't have to do it. God is going to do it, and he's going to do it in ways that I could never do it. Okay, because playtime is over. You're using witchcraft and all of that. Look, all of that's coming back. We're well aware of it. You're bringing hordes and hordes of witches and warlocks against God's people, and you think you're playing a game. We're about to, listen, all of that's about to die. All of it. And you, you will be, you will, you're going to be amazed at what God will is going to do to these witches and warlocks. You're going to be absolutely amazed. See, they looked at it as a game. They looked at that's all I need. That's all I needed for them to look at it like as a game. That's smash right there. That's smash time right there. That's all I needed you to look at it. All I needed to see, see you doing is acting like it's some game or, and, and like it's like you're a child at play. Okay? We're going full throttle though. Don't ask for no mercy. When it, when it turn up this time, when it turn up later on this week, when it turn up as the hours go by, don't ask for no mercy. That's all I'm asking. Keep the same energy. Don't ask, when it turn up, don't ask for no mercy. Okay? When it turn up, don't ask for no mercy. Because we know exactly what it is. It's, 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 it's a lot of black, it, listen, it's a lot of black witches and warlocks too. For, for the black community, you're not used to how I put this. You're not used to seeing black people you as witches and warlocks in your culture. So many of you are blind to it because your culture does not show you this type of African-American. It doesn't show you the type of black person that uses witchcraft. It doesn't show you that. So you don't have any real images of it in your community. And this is why particularly, specifically, a lot of black witches get undetected because it's not seen in your community. You know what I'm saying? So it's not understood. And especially hoodoo, which is uh, what people call low country voodoo, which is what a lot of people in the South use, right? And it's basically uh, a voodoo uh, 
practice or art that is used uh, nationwide, really. It's a, it's a great, it's a, it's a preference for many young African-Americans. Hoodoo, not voodoo, with an H, hoodoo, right? So I'm very educated on that. I've watched them. I've seen videos on, on real witches and warlocks, you know, and um, and I know that it's time it, that it's time for them to get what they deserve, you know. And a lot of people have been putting them up against the likes of people like me, and that's a game you shouldn't have played, brother. I'm listen. I'm I'm way prepared. I'm way too prepared for that. I'm way. I've been prepared for that. I got plenty fast against it already. I'm fasting all the time against witches and warlocks. I use my weapons properly. That's that's what you now see. I use my weapons properly. So that means all the games that you're playing, all the games you've been playing, listen, bro. Listen, we smashing on all that. I'm I'm too much aware. I'm too aware. I got the Holy Ghost, man. Many of you are around witch covens. They got whole covens, whole roaches. Whole roach hotels of witches. That's what it is. And when you realize it, it may be it may be in your apartment complex. You may have a whole witch coven against you. Like, see, that's what I suspect in my in my uh, building. It's only thirty. It's only thirty eight rooms in this in this building, which is a perfect number for witches and so what they what i believe they have done is in my particular building that they that i got through some program i got this apartment through some program it's what i think it is is it's nothing but witches and warlocks in a building and it's a witch coven so i'm fasting against this witch coven i've, I've been fasting against it for almost a year now i think well over a year so I'm, that's why it's not able to to prosper anything the witch coven is doing is not prospering. I'm aware of it. And I've been fasting against it. So it's not working. Ow. So, so I'm walking in faith that it's just all going to be destroyed. We ain't having no mercy. We it's, it's, Listen, we ain't having no mercy. Anybody jump out of pocket, we just it's smash on sight. Matter of fact, it's just smash on sight anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like it's a spiritual smash on sight. Like we we spiritually smashing on sight every time, bro. They come into our vicinity, they gang stalk me, they leave him with curses. That's what we doing. We sending it right back to him. We sending it right back to him. You send misfortune to me, we send a misfortune to you. You, you try to curse my finances, yours is gonna be cursed. You send death my way, we send it back your way. Whatever you send my way, I'm sending it back. And you're going to get it. You're going to eat it. You're going to be force fed what you try to get me to eat. Because I, I showed you God's mentality. I showed you God's mentality. Thou shall not suffer a witch to live. Now, preachers here in America, you can, you can be any kind of way you want to be. You can be who you want to be. Okay? That's, up to, that's between you and God. I'm, I go with God's word, with God's perspective. And, you know, if you, and, and so you already, you already evangelize. You prove that you love everybody. Won't you show people the balance of the word of God? Won't you show people the balance where it shows that, that, that hey, individuals that do this are worthy of, of, of wor truly worthy of death. This is how God see it. We all know that you love people. We all know that you want to be some behavioral club. We all know that you want to be in, in love with everybody. We already got that part. All right? We, we totally understand that part. Won't you, won't you show people the full spectrum of the word of God where it's not so nice all the time? <laughs> where it's not so happy all the time? And quite honestly, won't you show us the word of God where it shows us that we go to war with flesh and blood? I can show you that. The Bible says it's a time of war and it's a time of peace. It's a time to love and it's a time to hate. It's a time to embrace. It's a time to refrain from embracing people. Okay. So I can show you through the whole history of the Bible where the kingdom of God went to war with human beings. King David, 
He was put in the position as a general over a physical army. Okay? He was over a physical army. So that being said, He fought against flesh and blood. Okay? That's what it was. Okay? Now, you could decide what you want to decide. You can feel how you want to feel about that. I'm not going with your feelings. I'm going with the word of God. When we deal with real enemies who want to play games, who want to act like hyenas playing out in the night, we cutting their heads off, bro. We let God disintegrate, decapitate those fools. We're not playing no games, bro. We're taking witches to the grave. Okay? If you're a witch in the warlock, be warned. Be spiritually warned. We're taking you to the grave, bro. I'm not a child at play, bro. I'm not a child at play. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, and I'm getting the job done. Every time you see it spiritually backfire in your community, we're getting this job done. And that's why it's about to hit your national grid. Everything you did is about to hit the national grid, buddy. It's going to come back on your whole community. That's why your community stinks right now. You know why it stinks? Because of all the witchcraft that you try to put on me. All Ain't none of it work. Ain't none of that work. Okay? I got a virus. You got COVID-19. Boom, ow. If you think that was your little accomplishment, listen, you got COVID-19 after that. Is that a coincidence? The next year you get COVID-19? The next year, the very next year you get COVID-19, that's a coincidence. You lose, buddy. And we making sure of that. We making sure that you lose. Uh, listen, I don't play in competitions. I don't play games, bro. Do I look like I'm a person that play games, bro? Do I look like a clown to you, man? I don't play games, bro. Listen, I'm a prophet of God. I will send you to hell. And I know you know what I mean. And I and you know you should you should understand. We will send you to Hades. Okay? I'm a servant of God. I will curse you and you will go to Hades. And listen, we have, this is spiritual warfare. This is spiritual warfare, bro. This is no games being played. Okay? If you, if you, if you don't understand what we talk about and you, and, you, and you don't understand and you can't read between the lines, then, you only, then you're just spectating. You're in the flesh anyway because you're spectating. You know what I'm talking about and you know how I'm talking about it. You know exactly what it means. I'm not saying I can take, I, how can I literally take someone to hell, first of all. But when they play with us, I'm going to play my position in the kingdom of God as God's servant. I'm going to play my position. We all have a position to play. Daniel in prayer, when he was in prayer and fasting, he had a position to play, right? Okay, so there's a position to play. I'm going to play my position and these people are going to go to hell like they deserve to go. We're going to send that away in hordes. As soon as you try to come for us, because I know you're so stupid and cartoonish, I know how you move. You're going to wait till it's enough, to, and then you're going to try to come for us. It's going to be too late. We already got that lined up, that perspective lined up, bro. And when you try to come for us, you're going to fail. I promise you, any backup plans, all them backup plans going back, 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 we're going to knock all of that out, and I'm going to walk away totally free. We got this, bro. We got this. I promise you this. Yeah, don't doubt me. Doubt yourself. You shouldn't have played with me, man. Listen, I, I'm, I'm, I don't practice black magic. I'm not no witch or no warlock. You play with me, I probably you're going to suffer for playing with the kingdom of God, bro. I'm not one of those Christians that sit back and say, well, I'm just going to do what I need. I'm just going to love on you. Okay. If you think that's what I'm going to do, you tripping. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go by the scripture that thou shall not suffer a witch to live. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going by. Thou shall not suffer a witch to live. That's what we're going by. Don't listen. You don't play with us. Okay? I don't care what your president, I don't care what nobody tells you. You play with us and you will lose. You will lose your whole community. I am not playing no games. 
Yeah, yeah. Playtime is over, buddy. And I'm fasting every day. And the fasting I'm doing is against all the witches and warlike gang stalkers. Yeah, you want to be witchy? We got we got that, bro. All we asking is when and is when you settle in and you want to have pillow talk and want to and want to stroke my ego and you want to say this, that, and the third. Don't do none of that. Stay in that same position like you think you fighting me, right? Stay like that all the time so we can go ahead and smash on you, bro. That's what we talking about, man. Just keep the same energy. That's all I'm asking. I'm keeping the same energy. I'm keeping it 100. I'm not switching up. I'm not halfway your friend and halfway your enemy. I don't move like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't move like that. I don't move like that. I smash and I proved it. I proved it. All right, listen. Listen, we ain't in high school and we ain't in this culture. This American culture. I don't have anything. Listen, you already see the results. You already see what it is. You know what I'm saying? People, listen, you already see what it is. Okay? Some things ain't to be played with, bro. Some things ain't to be played with. I don't care what you do. I don't care where you come from. Some things ain't to be played with. And in the kingdom of God and God's prophets is those things. It's nothing to be played with, bro. It's nothing to be played with. I'm going to give you exactly what you want. And some. I'm going to give you exactly what you want, bro. I'm going to give you the smoke that you want. I promise you that. When I finish with you, you're going to wish you never met me, buddy. You're going to wish you never heard anything about somebody like me. That's what I promise you that. I promise that. When I finish with you, when I finish with these witches and warlocks, when I finish fasting against you, and I keep giving and I keep giving and giving to the kingdom of God, when I finish with you, bro, you're going to wish you never met me. Because see, a prophet, you can't, listen, you can't, you don't have nobody to control me. You don't have nobody to control me, bro. You don't have no Christian who can, who can control me. You don't have no government who can control me. You have nothing. And if I'm, that can control me. And if I'm touched, even touched, bro, you, you will lose everything. You can't win. (laughs) You can't win. You can't win. And listen, we win it. We we already win it by information. You got child marriage in the country. That's how we win. Now, what witchcraft can mess with that? What information you got on that? Oh, oh, stuff of the past when I was a kid. Who cares about that? We talking about stuff that people do as fully grown men and women in your community, having child marriage in your community. That's what we got on your American playground, buddy. Look, that's going to shut the playground down. You ain't going to be doing nothing here. You ain't going to be doing no witchcraft here soon. You know why? You know why? Because we going after the whole pr- playground. What you what, what you going to do then? What you witches and warlocks going to do when we shut down the whole playground, buddy? That's how it's happening. Don't you see that? You got COVID-19. You can know. Ain't nothing you can do about it. You can know everything. You can know. And ain't nothing you can do about it. You can play all these trigger games all you want. It doesn't bother me. You can't wear me down with it. Listen, man. Listen, I'm going to give you the smoke you want, bro. I'm going to give you the smoke you want, man. And when I and listen, you're going to OD on it, bro. You're going to OD. Watch. I promise you that. I'm going to give you the smoke you want, and I'm going to smoke your head off. You're going to OD, bro. You're going to OD out this month. Because we ain't playing. Listen, man, we playing. No, you, I know you think we playing. I know you think this is a game. Bro, I have no plan bone in my body, bro. I don't play no games, bro. I got a sense of humor. You got you, you, you might look at me and think it's a game, bro. What's funny about this, man? Look, we smashing, bro. You don't see this death out here? You don't see this death out here? I know you want to ignore it, don't you? You want to ignore how many people dying, don't you? Yeah, because you a sucker. You a goofy sucker, man. Let me tell you something. All you witches and warlocks, man. Look, man, bodies are dropping, bro. Listen, there ain't no mercy. Ain't no mercy. This ain't gangster. This is listen. This is the spiritual. This is the kingdom of God, bro. Listen, this is the kingdom of God. Listen, man. Ain't no listen. Ain't no mercy given, bro. You don't challenge God's kingdom. I'm gonna set you straight. I'm gonna set your little soul straight, bro. I'm gonna set your little soul on fire. I ain't playing no games because you want to oppose us. As soon as you listen, my mentality is this, man. My mentality is this. You oppose us, you die, man. It's, listen, man, you die. I ain't trying to get you saved. You die, man. You know what the Bible says? Thou should not suffer a witch to live. Ain't talking nothing about to get him saved, did it? Ain't talking about none of them getting coming to God, did it? 
It, t- it said, thou shalt not suffer a wish to live. It ain't talking nothing about salvation and getting them saved. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes, man, when people do certain things, it, it, it ain't no need to talk about no salvation. Ain't no need to talk about it. And see, that's where we get the, the, the highest experts. Here we go. On spiritual experience. This is where we get the highest experts on spiritual, on spirituality. Because it comes to a point, man, all that stuff you think about repenting and all of that, and they've been playing all those games and doing all doing all that witchcraft. Nah, it's time to buckle that up and send that to hell, bro. That's what it is. That's what it is, bro. And that's where we get the highest ranking spiritual of spiritual experts that's able to see it for what it is and gauge how long these people have been doing these games and playing these games and realize they've been given, given over to destruction. You can't play with God. You, you, you can't keep doing the same thing over and over again. Who told you? Who told you that's how it works? Who told you that? Who told you that's how it works? Huh? Who told you that's how it works? You can't play with God's kingdom like that, bro. They told you you could do something over and over again. You, I, do, you, do you really trust that? Do you really trust that? Do you really trust you can keep doing something over and over with God now? Over and over and over again. To this inexhaustible way of thinking. In this inexhaustible way. Like you can't just, you can, can, do, you can do it over and over again. Nah, bro. You can't play with God like that. Especially when it comes to witchcraft, especially when it comes to putting witchcraft towards his people, you think so. For spiritual ex- experts, you think they can. You think these witches and warlocks can can use? No, nah, don't be biased about it. Now, let's just be one hundred. Just be one hundred. Don't be biased about it. Don't be a, don't be American about it. That's what I'm saying. You think these witches and warlocks can continue to throw witchcraft over and over again against the kingdom of God? For how for months and months and, 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 and play games for all that time, and you think they can you think they can run back into play in, into God's face? You think that's gonna last forever like that, man, bro? You not you listen. Half of these people are not spiritual experts, man. I'm tell you something. God don't play no games, bro. I'm tell you something that you got American Christianity perspective. That's what you got. God don't play no games, man. God don't play no games. You've been listening to these uh, uh, preachers who, 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 who preach to the extreme that you can just do whatever you want to do. God watches every individual, man. And if you've been playing around, you've been playing with God's kingdom and you've been throwing witchcraft against you to people you know who are Christians, who it doesn't matter. Listen, a fool can know, a fool knows a Christian. Even a fool can know a Christian. If you use common sense, and you're real with yourself and you use the human element too and you really pay close attention to somebody and you really, really, really look at somebody and examine somebody keeping in mind that God is also married to the backslider which means that they still are his wives he's married to backsliders which means spiritually, legally, spiritually speaking you still don't have the authority to attack that person. Boom. The Bible says a just man falls seven times. Right or wrong, guys? That's for all the preachers. So while he's falling, that can we assume that his fruit might not be in place? Boy, that's good right there. His fruit, the fruit of the spirit that you that a lot of American Christians say, oh, well, you will know them by their fruit. But you won't be able to identify them. You won't. Let, let me put it like this. Excuse me. You won't be able to take their identification. You will be able to identify them, but you won't be able to take their identification. Be, okay, so when you have Christians that come to God, right? When they first come to God, do they have all the fruit in the world? They got all these orchards all of a sudden. <laughs> they got all these fruit orchards. So you're telling me baby Christians have all these fruit orchards, fruit orchards. They got the orange orchards. They got all these different orchards, right? That's what you're telling me? You know that's ridiculous. 
when you first come to Christ, you do not bear all these fruit. So either so are you saved even though you don't bear fruit? That's what I'm trying to uh that's what I'm trying to clarify. Because there's people that come into the kingdom of God, and I know for a fact they have not bared fruit yet. So if they don't, so if fruit is not grown instantaneously, right? When they come to Jesus Christ, are they saved though? So, th- so you're, so that means one can have salvation without having fruit. And if a just man falls seven times, can you answer this question? Isn't, isn't it most likely that he's, he, he lacks some type of identification with the fruit? If he falls seven times, you think he got all the fruit in the world? So if he got all the fruit in the world, why are he falling seven times then? He lacks something. Either way, it's faith. Faith is one of the fruit of the spirit. Patience. Patience is one of the fruit of the spirit. Long suffering. Long suffering is one. You feel me? So it's some fruit that he lacks where his identity should be. So when he's lacking that, does he still have his identification in Christ? He does. Because the Bible says a just man shall fall seven times and rise up again. And when he falls, I'm pretty sure he's lacking identity or lacking fruit, which you would take his whole identity when you see he falls. And that's what you do in American culture. Oh, I don't see no fruit. Oh, look what he doing. He falling. He ain't no Christian. The Bible says a just man should fall seven times. So stop trying to steal identity when you don't see no fruit. And stop playing around God's people because you think you don't see what you're supposed to see. Because you have no idea. It's many people that backslide. Okay, when you backslide, you don't show fruit. When you out here drinking and you out here partying, are you out here and you slip up just for a split moment, just for a window? Because many preachers, come on now, you, you give your testimony but and you tell people how you was doing this and how you was drinking and how you slipped up. Okay, that's like a fruit. And some people would try to take your whole identification right then and there. But they can't do it, can they? So how can they do it with me then? If they couldn't do it with you, when you when you made your mistakes, when you was at a bar drinking, right? Okay, so people say you totally lack fruit, right? But you still had your identification in Christ, okay? Right, and you could be the best of them. You could be seasoned and everything, but you was lacking fruit at that moment in time, right? Right, but you still had your identification in Christ. So it's a difference between displaying fruit, having fruit active, boy, that's good, and, and, and having identification in Christ Jesus. So if you don't have fruit active, you're not displaying fruit, that does not mean you do not have your identification still in Christ. I just showed you how. You lack, you, you, you know, someone, a just man falls seven times. Okay. When he falls, he lacks fruit, right? So, but, but his identification is not taken away, is it? Because he still is a just man. It says a just man shall fall. That's part of his, that's part of him. He's still the just man. You see what I'm saying? He's still the just man. Okay, so for so I say all that to say this for my enemies who think you can play with me. Now you see where I'm going with this for your for the enemies that think you can play with me because you think, oh, he don't have his identification in Christ. You sure about that? Are you sure you can't be too positive? Can you? When somebody's naming Jesus Christ, you can't be too positive that that person is not a Christian. You can't be too sure about it, right? Look at your country. Look at your country. Look at your country. Do it look like God's playing with you? 
you're trying to save face, bro. Witchcraft can't listen. Witchcraft, if witchcraft could be it, uh, God's kingdom, how come witchcraft ain't cursed the whole country and be, destroyed the whole world? It's limited in power. They yeah, they act like they act like it's so grand and big, but how come it ain't taking over the world then? When they can just do what they want to do, right? How come they can't go up a level and take over stuff? Because they're limited in power. How come when the God's people, the prophets, they play with us, look at the whole world turns upside down? You know why? You know why? Because we're connected to the infinite flow of power. They, we can match any level of power they own. You got a million people? We got, a, we got enough power for that. You got 300 million that want to fight against us? We got enough power for 300 million plus people. It's wherever you want. It's however you want to do it, bro. It's however and whenever. We got this. God can, match, God can match any level of power that you want, buddy. That's my level of faith. He can match any level of power. And we ain't having mercy. That's all I'm asking is when you see it turn up, don't ask for no mercy. That's all I'm asking because that's what's going to happen. You're going to ask for mercy. Just like a spoiled kid. God, let us go. But you wanted all the smoke just a minute ago, though. That's what we tripping off of. You wanted all the smoke just a minute ago. Like I'm some kind of clown, some little sponsored by McDonald's kind of guy. Like I'm some mascot to play with, bro. Listen, man, I don't, listen, I don't play no games, man. Yeah, you done ran up on a real spiritual warrior who's not playing games. And ain't, and listen, ain't nobody can get me off your head, man. Ain't no Christians you got can get me off your head. Because I got legal right. I got legal right to handle this as I'm handling it. I got spiritual legal right to handle this like this. And ain't no, and listen, ain't no Christian can get me off my off your head when I got spiritual legal right to handle it this way. Ain't nothing they can do. Ain't nothing they can do. They can they, listen, they can be in distress. They can act like they pulling up. They can do whatever. Long as they know, ain't nothing they can do where everything is understood properly. Ain't nothing you can do in this situation. You know, ran up on the wrong thing, playing that popular alpha male foolish game. Playing that alpha male uh, hot rod, hot rod Ricky game. That's what you've been doing. And hot rod Ricky can't play with no profit. Hot rod Ricky can't play with this, buddy. We'll shut his whole hot rod collection down. We'll shut your whole hot rod collection down, bro. It's happening already. Listen, man, it's going to turn up a notch, bro. And I promise you, you're going to, listen, you're going to hate the day you, you play with me at all. You already do. You already are regretful. You're already regretful. And we turning up. Ain't nobody playing. Listen, man, you can bring the baddest witches and warlocks. All that's going to do is backfire and bring more destruction on your community. That's what, that's how we handling it, man. You don't got the right Christian that, listen, ain't showing, listen, you can go to the grave tonight if you want to. You can go to the grave tonight if you want to. That, is that clear enough? You can go to the grave tonight if you want to. That's how we handle it, bro. We ain't playing no Happy Meal, corny, corny old cartoon games, bro. Listen, we listen. you going to the grave from here. You going to the grave from here. Yeah, you ran up on the wrong Christians, bro. Sending you to the grave, talking about the graveyard. I don't need, listen, I don't need no co I don't need no cosign from no American Christians. I don't serve them. I serve God. That's the difference. I'm I'm not, I'm not trying, listen, I'm not trying to be like a, a American Christian. I'm trying to be, I'm like, I'm trying to be like Jesus. Jesus said, it's better that you can't put a, a chain around your neck and throw yourself to the bottom of the sea and then offend one of these people that believe in him. And I'm paraphrasing. He's talking about those who, his people. He's talking about his people. Okay, you can't offend us and play with us, bro. And, and Jesus told you himself that you should die. So how am I incorrect? Only if I'm trying to be an American Christian and I'm not trying to be an American Christian. I'm trying to be like Jesus. Jesus said, 
It's better that you would take a chain, that man take a chain around his neck and throw himself with a milestone at the bottom of the sea for trying to offend one of God's people. It's not talking about children. How, ch how can children get offended? How can children get offended? Little ones, is, read between the lines. He's talking about people. It says little ones that believe in him. It's talking about his people, bro. Now you're getting so smart, you're stupid. How is he talking about children? And children can't even be offended. Children don't even have the brain or haven't even developed to the mind to know what to be to be offended. And who would be offending children? Think about it. So why would Jesus address just a certain age? Think about it. Where he's saying, oh, uh, uh, these little ones. But why wouldn't he address all of his people? So it's not talking about just children. Why would he, why would that, what, come on. It's talking about his people that believe in him. The little ones are his people, his children, you know, his servants, his servants. We are his master. I mean, we, he is our master. We are his children. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's time for smash time, bro. Okay, and if anybody jump around this neighborhood where I'm at, we shutting all these wannabes down, bro. No, I'm telling you, not one person going to come around this way. We're going to put you to death. Oh, yeah, it's all the way up, bro. It's all the way up. It's all the way 100. Let somebody come through. Man, we listen, man, listen, man, listen. I promise you everything I love, man. We ain't playing no games. We ain't playing none. We ain't playing no games, bro. We said, we said, listen, it's massive. It's massive defeat that's coming to your country. Massive defeat. We Listen, you already in this mode of playing a game. We got you, man. Listen, you, we got you. Okay? We at war. You playing games. It's a no-brainer, bro. It's a no-brainer. You can't act like you playing games and, and you're a warrior at the same time. You playing games. You talking about it's a contest. That's a sucker, man. That's a sucker. You would never hear me say nothing like it's a context. You would never hear those words come out of my mouth. I'm at war, bro. I smash. You understand? That's why you got the situation you got now. Because we smash, bro. And you sitting up a street punk witch. That's what you are. A street punk witch or a street punk warlock. Which one? Both street punks to me. You're equivalent of a street punk playing around a man that's been around military. I'm built for this, bro. I got respect. I'm built for it. I'm built for it. I can go as long as you want to go. And I promise you, I'm smashing. I'm smashing, bro. I'm smashing. Okay? It ain't no mercy given, bro. I'm ready at all times. I keep my weapons. I'm ready at all times. I ain't playing. I don't do that for fashion. I don't do it for fashion, man. You a goofy community, bro. You a goofy community. You want me to tell you how you, I, I know you're goofy? You got 43 states of child marriage, man. You a goofy community, man. Won't you, listen, man, won't you kill yourself? Won't you kill yourself like Jesus said? If Jesus said, how am I wrong for it? You just not used to it because you you used to a docile American community. That's what you're used to. Jesus said, it's better that you take a chain and put it around your neck and die. It ain't no other way to look at that. And you can ignore that. You can put it to the back of your sermons or you can put it to the front of your sermons. But either way, you, you, you want to slice the pie, either way you want to do it, right? Jesus said it and, and admit what it meant. They can, they can die for playing, just offending us. That's what it says. He ain't even say touch us. Offending us. Look at that. And then you'll say, we lack fruit of the spirit, won't you? Well, Jesus said it. Why, how's it, how's it like fruit? Boom, out. Jesus said it. How does it like fruit? If Jesus said it, how does it like fruit that you should die? Boom. Suckers. 
Nobody playing with you, man. You think I'm going to let you play with me, man, for free? Ain't Listen, man, we ain't playing with you, bro. I'm breaking you down, man. Playing no games with you, man. You shouldn't have started no problems with me, man. You shouldn't have started no problems with a man of my rank, man. Ain't no coward here. Ain't no surrender, bro. Ain't no surrender. Ain't no surrender, bro. You played with the wrong thing at the wrong time, and you caught me at the wrong place, bro. I ain't playing. I'm smashing, bro. I'm smashing. Okay? And ain't nothing you could do about it. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Pick, getting me upset is the worst thing you can do. You don't get a man like me upset, man. Listen, I'm smashing, man. I'm spiritually smashing, bro. That's all it is to it. I'm spiritually smashing, bro. I'm telling you, I'm spiritually smashing. I ain't playing no games, man. It's in an hour's time. It's an hour's time that we're getting this done. You ain't going to listen, boy. By the time we get done with you, by the time we get done with you, you're going to respect me like a man, like the man I am. You got 43 states of child marriage. Ain't none of y'all can see me. Ain't none of y'all can see me. And that go for military. That go for police. They go for everything in between. How you going to see me? and Y'all got child marriage up here having sex with children. So you can see me besides that, though. You still can see me through that. Well, you ain't know nothing about it. You still can manage to see me. That's what I'm talking about. Bro, listen, man, it's over, bro. I'm smashing, man. I don't care if you're a witch. You a witch under a pedophile country, man. I pull you all out of that witchcraft bull, bull that you got going on. You in a country with 43 states of child marriage. You need, listen, you need to come out of your galactic realms and realize what's going on. Because in World War III, you you nobody. If this pop off the World War III, what's a witch and a warlock? Nothing. You just a number in the cattle waiting to get thrown away at some at, at some camp somewhere. Yeah, news flash, buddy. Listen, I'm just listen. I'm about it, bro. I'm just not trying to go to jail for it. That's the difference. That's the difference. I'm just not trying to go to jail for it. That's the only way. That's the only. That's the little. That's that's the only thing holding back. That's the only thing holding back, bro. Because once you do it, see, I, I, I done been in the jail system. Some of y'all ain't. Once you do something, it's, it, 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 hey, you going to jail. It, it, yeah. A real criminal knows that. A real criminal knows that. These young, these young wannabes don't know that. I know you ain't got no real, you know how I know you ain't got no real crimes. You ain't never done no real crimes. Because you're not aware of consequences. I'm aware. I'm aware. Once I go in, it's over. Somebody, listen, one of us going, somebody's going to jail. Are they going to be on the run forever? And I ain't trying to do either. I ain't trying to do either, bro. I'm trying to wait till it all ends and anarchy set in. Then we can get it in. We can go. We can smash all night long, baby. When anarchy come, we can smash all night long. We're going to get all them people, that's, all, the, all the smoke they wanted. Every, every police going to be out the way. We're going to give you all the smoke you wanted, buddy. Listen, man, listen. It's going to be the survival of the fittest. It's going to be survival of the fittest. It's going to be on site for survival of the fittest, bro. And then all the procrastination, all these games and all that, all that's going to be out the way, bro. All of it. And we're going to see what people made of. When, when anarchy, if anarchy comes... We're going to see what people made up, bro. Because I'm telling you, man, I'm, there. I'm really about this, bro. Listen, it's listen. Ain't nothing to do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, bro. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. It's all about survival. It ain't all about hip hop, man. It ain't all about trying to be a rapper and be cool. You know what I'm saying? It's not about that. It's about survival and war. That's what it's about. And if you take, if you take it any other way, that's why you're not successful. That's why I'm successful in my war. Because just like a white man can't jump. Woody Harrison told Wesley Snipes, he said, you see, he said, you rather look good and win. You may, you rather look bad. You rather look good and win. Hold on. You rather look good and lose instead of looking bad and win. You can say whatever you want, but I'm winning. You can say whatever you want. I don't care how it looks to people that's in politics. I don't care how it looks to none of these fools out here on the streets, man. Look at the numbers. Look at what's going on. I'm winning. So you rather look good but lose 
It looks like you won. It looks good. But you lost, though. When you look at the principles, when you look at the things that people did and didn't do right, right, by the regulations that we go by on here in these streets, you lost based on that. But it looked good like you won. So you rather look good and lose. I'd rather look bad and win. Yeah, I know that. Listen, you don't listen. I don't care what you think. Long as you lose, that's all I'm talking about. By any means necessary, you can look. You can call it what you want. As long as you're going to the grave, I don't care. I don't think about it. As long as you go to the grave, that's all that matters. That's all that matters, and that's what's happening. Okay, so that's what we're going with, man. That's what we're going with. Long as you go into the grave, that's all I care about. That's all I'm talking about, bro. At the end of the day, listen, 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 you ain't got nothing on me, man. All you got is imagery, foolishness, mind control, witchcraft, foolishness that doesn't float in a world like mine. See, you thought because I was spiritual, I was in some galactic world like you. Why am I always talking about the real world then? I'm always talking about the real world. Why am I in a galactic realm like you? Nah, you listen, listen, me and you two in two different lanes. I'm talking about information the whole country don't know nothing about. Why you in a galactic telepathic realm? Talking about nothing, sitting up thinking and, 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 and thinking and wondering and looking at people's thoughts. You know what I'm doing? I'm talking about 43 states of child marriage. That's what I'm talking about. You see the difference between me and you? We're we're not in the same lane, bro. We ain't, in, we ain't in no same lane. You can't see me. I'm talking about something your whole country don't know about, bro. Yeah, stay out of the state. Man, listen, man. The best thing for you to do is see, here's what happens. When I, when, listen, the best thing you can do is stay out of my way, bro. Here's what happened. When I, here, here's what happens. I When I have information like this, I come up as a messenger revealing things to your community I I automatically get high-ranking angels. I get high-ranking angels from this situation where I'm revealing these things, right? I'm revealing these things. I get high-ranking angels that nobody, that you don't know is there to smash on sight anybody that's messing with this man that is the messenger, and you can think it's a game. You can think it's a gimmick. But because of the seriousness that God, see, we we have an intelligent, we have the mo- the kingdom of God is the most intelligent army. Okay, you can't trigger me. You can turn on, you can do this, you can turn on that, you can beep horns. You're not triggering me. I'm right on point. Yeah. I'm the messenger. And I'm revealing this information of 43 states with child marriage. That comes with angels in my case for that because of that exposure of something concerning and me being who I am as a prophet it comes with protection revealing this information that exposes the unrighteousness of America I have protection that you're not aware of because I'm the messenger So when you're playing with me, you're also playing with the messenger that is in the process of revealing the truth about America. So I have high ranking angels that has come to me and to my side to protect me as I am the messenger and I have spoken. Okay, so as I speak, God provides the protection as I speak, God provides the angelic host to protect me. See, no, see, so that comes, that comes with, that doesn't come instantly to everybody, but it comes to me. It comes for me. It come, when I speak on a level to expose the American community and government, what you don't realize is, is now I've been lifted up as the messenger. Whether you accept it or not, who cares what you accept when you got child marriage here? I'm the one doing this, not the next man. So my rank is based on what I'm doing. In other words, my angelic protection is based on what I'm doing. 
Yeah, that's it right there. That's it. My angelic protection is based on what I am doing and saying. And it's going to instantly, because of God's power, yes, he's going, as soon as I speak and I speak on this level and I'm lined up with him, he's going to send the protection. He's going to send what I need. Now, will, it, will, will, will I see it happen instantly, per se? The protection may be instantly. The, the deliverance and the victory is the struggle. Okay? So the bottom line is this. When I became the messenger, let me say it clearly. When I became the messenger, because I don't deceive anybody. See, what people think is they waited for a contradiction. Ain't no contradiction. I win this. I'm the prophet of God. I win this. Ain't no contradiction. So stop waiting for one. Because it ain't going to be one good enough for you to win. You got 43 states of child marriage. What kind of contradiction I'm going to have that's going to make you win? <laughs> Can't be serious. Completely a scrubby now. You complete a complete scrub now. Can't you a bum now? <laughs> Can't be serious. You a bum now. Okay, let's keep it one hundred. You got forty three states of child marriage. I, whether you like it or not, am the one that's revealing this. God has brought protection to me. I know this by faith because I have chosen to speak. He does not equip a person with high ranking angels. If you are not ready, if you are not speaking, this explains why so many people are fearful and think that they can't survive. If they speak, they think the government is going to kill them. You know why you do it? You know why you think that? Because you have not yet spoken and understood and, see, and seen God deliver you from everything. You haven't seen God defeat your enemies. You know why? You know why? And you see, you see people standing out there that you that you scared of. But you know why you ain't seen, you know why you, you know why you uh you know why you ain't seen the uh, the those people push back. I'm gonna just speak for my situation. They defeated because I speak. Because God then send the high ranking uh, angels on the level that I'm on. And that defeats every all that out there so that the truth is known from a prophetic position. It's one thing to do it outside of God. It's one thing to do it with God. When I do this with God in God's way, who I'm a servant of, I'm a servant of God. He sends the protection when I speak. It's, that's the difference. Just like he with Moses. Moses went to Pharaoh, let my people go. Thus say the Lord, let my people go. God sent the protection then. Boom, Al. He sent the protection then. And they overcame the whole Pharaoh army. But Moses had to first speak. When Moses spoke, then high-ranking angels was able to come. The reason why your whole community is submitted to the American government and you have not overcome them because you're scared to speak. When you speak, then God sends the angels. When you speak, then God sends the protection. When you speak, then God sends the power that you need to defeat them. So it explains a lot, right? This is why you don't, that's, this is why you don't have no victory over the enemy because you have not yet spoken and you have not yet spoken because of fear. So why would God send you protection and spiritual equipment when you're scared to speak? When you're scared to speak, why would he send all this, these angels and everything to protect you when you ain't saying nothing? Now you see what I'm saying. So you ain't saying nothing, so why should he send angels? Why should he send protection for you? Why should he deliver you? You ain't saying nothing. You ain't defending what's right. 
You sitting back part of the problem halfway. Why? So why are he going to deliver your people? Why is he going to deliver you? You're not saying anything. You know, and, exact, and, 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 and you know what exactly is going on? You're contradicting yourself anyway. <laughs> Boom, Al. You're contradicting yourself. You're talking about, you're talking about uh, protecting black lives and everything, but you're contradicting yourself, killing. So why is God going to send a deliverer? Deliver, how, why God is going to deliver you when you're contradicting yourself and you yet do not speak? You do not speak, both. You don't speak and you're contradicting yourself through killings. So why would God deliver that? I know in a perfect world, you just get delivered. But this explains why you're not delivered. This explains it. This explains it because you're scared to speak against the powers that be. And if you did, God would send the protection. He's not sending high ranking angels to people that got their mouth closed. Why are he going to send high ranking angels to protect you from government officials and government conspiracies? Why is he going to send? He's sending it for me. That's why they can't beat me. You know why they can't beat me? Because I have started to speak. And God said, well, I got to send my protection. My son is speaking. My son is speaking. I got to send my protections. I got to send high ranking angels according to government officials and conspiracies and National Guard and police and hood politics. And that's why I have the level of protection that I have. That being said, enemies beware. Understand this. Witches and warlocks and secret societies, understand what you're dealing with, bro. You ain't dealing with some quirky little guy, bro. Some little awkward little guy. That's what you think, man. You're not dealing with that, man. You're dealing with somebody that has spoken and God has sent protection in wars that's outside of you. Now you see where I'm at. I'm dealing with wars that's outside of you and you've taken it for granted and you take it, you're taking it lightly when your whole community don't even know about this. So now I have high ranking angels in, the, in protection according to what I am revealing, according to what I am speaking. God has sent the protection according to that, which means you can get smashed on just like somebody that would try to stop this message. Just like somebody would try to stop me from talking about 43 states of child marriage. Just like somebody that would try to stop that, that those angels are going to see you as an enemy and smash on it. They're going to see you just like military or any type of authorities or anybody trying to play with me and you're going to get smashed on. And that explains your situation. You got COVID-19, you got all of this going on, and you can't quite explain it, can you? You can't quite explain it and put your finger on it why it's all happening at one time, can you? That's right. That's right. That's the kingdom of God, boy. You can't play with us, man. You can't play with it, bro. You can't play with it. And now you know. Now you know why you're getting smashed on, bro. And you think it's a competition, a game. Listen, man. I got high ranking angels according to what I'm talking about, bro, which is not you, which is not you. I'm talking about child marriage. You are irrelevant. See, that's how God is. Not only are you defeated, you're made irrelevant. Dude, ain't nobody who cares about you. Only reason I'm addressing you is so I'm letting this really I'm letting I, I don't give my enemies the luxury of thinking ignorantly like you're winning, like you're doing something. And I don't give my enemies the luxury of thinking that. I'm letting you know you losing. I'm going to let you know you lose. I'm going to show you how you lose. I'm going to break it down to you. And I want fellow Christians and spiritual warriors to understand this. When you speak, they die. They lose. Because God has sent the protection, but he's not going to send the protection when you ain't doing nothing. And I also want you to realize these witches and warlocks, we got to fast against them. They are the enemy. Listen, man, we ain't playing that, that fake synthetic evangelistic game. If they're in a position to plan with us, we're not playing no games. It's simple. We're going into fastings against witches. We're going into fastings against warlocks. That's what we're doing. And they're going to lose. 
See, all you got to do is point the, is stop being scared of what people think and point those weapons at these enemies. That's what I'm saying. Stop worrying about what all these preachers, they, listen, they ain't even telling you about Jesus Christ, our, the Messiah, our master. They're not even telling you about him when he said that they should basically cast themselves into the bottom of the sea and kill themselves if they offend us. They ain't telling you about that. They ain't, it ain't to the forefront of their messages. So why would this be? When Jesus said they should die too. Jesus said they should die too, man. This is the real kingdom of God. Welcome to it. Where we smash on people. Where we smash on the, the people that want to play games, bro. Where the Bible says, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. What does that mean? Witches get smashed on, man. I didn't make it up. That's what it says. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Okay, that means they get smashed on, bro. Man, listen, man, listen, bro. That's the real kingdom of God. That's the real kingdom of God. We ain't, we ain't wasting no time on that. That's smash, bro. Word is bond. Word is bond. They can, listen, man, this, this is no game. This is no game. They want to ride around. We listen, we come and listen. When God's kingdom smash, don't get mad. That's for the American community. You sat back and you was entertained, right? You was it, okay. So when we when we when we respond to that, don't get mad. Don't try to get mad at me. Because after all, you sit back and watched. You sit back and watched them play games, bro. So when we turn up and smash now, don't get mad at me. Don't act like I'm the blame when they playing games with me. It go both ways. If you sit there and watch them do that, do you sit here and watch us smash? That's, that's only right, right? That's only right, right? Okay, then. That's all I'm saying. Be a man or be a woman about it. You sit there like a sucker and watch them play games, right? So you're going to sit here like a sucker and watch us smash, man. Don't don't be don't be don't be talking about oh well you know that's going too far it's already going too far we we way past that time we way past that now so when we turn up and we smash on them don't get don't get mad bro don't get mad when we smash bro don't try to send nobody towards us when we smash because you ain't send nobody towards that stuff they doing out there okay you you all claim to be smart men and women. Okay, you can obviously see that the gang stalking and riding around is, is what's causing the problems in the spiritual world. That's what's causing the problems. That's what's doing it. Okay? That's what's doing it, bro. So they think this is a game like they in a cartoon. So when we smash on that, don't act like you lost your whole mind, like you didn't realize it's a repercussion for what they doing. Don't act like you don't understand that. Don't act like you don't understand it's a repercussion, bro. Don't act like you don't understand that. That's all we asking is stick to the rules and the regulations when we smash. Because if you don't, God is looking at that. You sit back and watch that part. You're going to sit back and watch this. That's yeah. You ain't going to act. You ain't going to act like I'm the problem when they was the problem and we handled the problem. Because none of y'all didn't handle it. So when we handle it, don't listen. Don't listen. Don't be a sucker. OK, you sit there and watch them do what they do. So when we smash, don't get mad, bro. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm asking. Take it how it is. You sit there and took that how it is. Listen, man, they put your children in danger. They put your family in danger. You should have looked at it that way, but you looked at it stupidly. You wait till repercussions come to what, for what they doing and, and looking at me like a dummy, like I caused it. Like I caused it. That makes you stupid, bro. If they causing problems, what are we supposed to do? That's what I'm saying. So you, in the end, you're being an idiot. You sitting up watching stuff, spectating, eating chicken, playing hood politics like we playing games. And then when it turn up, don't get mad, bro. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking is don't get mad when we smash, bro. Don't get mad, man. That's all I'm asking. Don't get mad at me because you after after all. I throw warning shot after warning shot, and you thought I was like a 13-year-old girl throwing a tipper tantrum. You better not mess with me. That's what you thought I was doing? 
I don't listen, man. I don't send out empty threats, bro. Look at the country, man. Look at the country. Do it look like I throw out empty threats? I ain't throwing out no empty threats, bro. I told you, bro. If they play with me. Now, if I was a villain, I wouldn't even say nothing. I would let you do whatever you do. I told you. I said, if they play with me, everybody's going to be in danger, bro. I told them that in 2019, if they follow me to California, I told them that. I said, if you follow me to California, plagues, I use, this is the exact words I used before COVID. I said, plagues is coming on your country. If you follow me to California, it was a repercussion, bro. I'm a real prophet. I know you used to preachers. You used to preachers, self-appointed preachers that get ministry classes and become preachers. That's what you're used to, bro. I come from a line. I come from a family. I come from a line of real spiritual people, bro. This ain't no game. I see spiritual things. I see real spiritual things. You don't play with somebody like me, bro. And I told those people, if they follow me to California, I told them back in 2019, if you follow me to California, a plague is coming on your country. They thought it was a game. The next year you had COVID-19. That ain't no plague. That's not a plague. I told them that, man. You might They laughed me to a scorn, I bet. He said a plague is going to come on us if we follow him to California. A year later, you had COVID-19 everywhere. I told you. And I'm telling you again, bro. I'm telling you again, you keep playing with me, you're going to hit a corner, just like driving a car. You're going to hit a corner, it ain't going to be nothing there in America no more. It's not going to be nothing here. I promise you that. You keep playing with me like it's a game, right? You're going to turn a corner, and one day, nothing is going to be there in what you call America. You're going to turn, it's going to be nothing there. You think I'm in it. You think I'm playing some game. I'm in some game and like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, like, like I'm sitting back masterminding and playing games. I ain't playing no games, bro. I ain't masterminding no, no diva games. A diva sitting back masterminding. I'm not no diva sitting back masterminding, bro. That's you. You think like some diva sitting back masterminding, bro. Listen, bro. Listen, I'm a soldier, bro. I knew I'm, I neutralize targets. That's what I do. I neutralize targets. I'm not playing with suckers, man. I'm not playing with you, bruh. I'm dead. I'm dead serious. It's no games being played. This is the difference between suburbs and ghetto people. I'm from the ghetto, bruh. I'm from, listen, my family from the ghetto. You a suburban bunch of people. I know you suburban because you take life for granted. You don't care about your life. You get depressed because you ain't get your, your new pair of shoes or something. You are suburban minded people. You take life for granted. I'm a person from the ghetto. I don't take life for granted. That's how I can smell what it is because of the actions. You take life for granted. You're a suburban person. For mostly, most, most likely, most likely you're a suburban person. I'm not a suburban person. Okay? You play with me, bro. We will send you to the grave. I don't you and listen, you can listen, you can talk to anybody you want to talk to. I guarantee you won't get it off your head. You know why you won't get it off? Because you know what you're doing. And God knows what you're doing. And you ain't fooling nobody. Listen, listen, you will not get this off your head, bro. God is no respecter of persons. I promise America would not get this off their head. If you don't pay me my money, you don't give me what I supposed to get. When you when you lock somebody up unjustly and you ain't got no evidence, right? You 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 not only let it you you not you not only let them free, you also give them a bag. I don't play games, bro. I don't play diva games. I'm, I can't stand no divas. I don't. I don't. I don't even like a diva. 
when you when you when you beautiful, you don't even gotta you don't gotta you don't gotta flex, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to flex. Everything I'm doing is flexing, bro. And I'm still humble. You know what I'm saying? We smashing, bro. Listen, man. Listen, I promise you, man. You're not gonna like the future. I promise you that. You ain't gonna like the future. You ain't. You are not gonna like the future. I promise you that. I guarantee you, it'll take the smile off your face. Any smile you got, I promise you, we're going. We're gonna take that off your face. This is the real kingdom of God. You don't play with us, man. You do not play with us. And you, if you can act like this is diva school, and you a diva getting your life and getting your bag, you can act like that, and we can smash you like that, bro. We can smash you just like that. It's like, no, listen, bro. I don't listen. You to me, you nobody's when you got forty three states of child marriage. Whatever persona you think you are means nothing. And that's by information. That's by information, bro. Your persona means nothing. You got child marriage. They having sex with children here. Oh, and if you don't think it's children, the last law said any age of children. The last child marriage law passed under the Donald Trump administration said it's any age, basically. So it's not older children, it's any children now. That's what the last law said, which covers any age of that you would consider a pedophile age to be with. Yeah, that's what we at now. And that's the, listen, bro, we smashing, man. Listen, that's it, bro. And, and listen, all of y'all under that, man, I don't walk through death. I already don't walk through death, bro. You don't put no fear in my heart. I promise you that. I'm just not trying to go to jail for it. I'm just not trying to go to jail for it. That's all it is. Other than that, bro, man, come on, man. I done been coast to coast. You do not strike fear in my heart. That's what I'm saying. Me and you ain't even in league. You don't even need to be talking about me, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't. I'm a Christian. You don't even need to be talking about me. Me and you in the world. You all out. You lost in the world, bro. Man, me and you live in two different worlds, man. You don't even, and, and you don't need to be talking about me. Yeah, I know you thought you knew me. Now you know me. <sighs> like you can see me, bro. Man, come on, man. You can't be serious, man. If you don't know about this child marriage, you are beneath me. Okay? I don't care how you feel. How you above me? It's all in your gassed head, bro. You gassed. You gassed yourself. Maybe you gassed yourself. Shoot. Maybe you gassed yourself, bro. But whatever the case may be, you can't claim to be over me when you have child marriage through the whole country and you pass your last child marriage law under the Donald Trump administration. Bro, you're under me. Okay, that's that. It's all in your head, you're gassed. I told you if you follow me to California, I'm a, a plague is coming on you. A year later, that's exactly what happened. COVID-19 was here. That's a coincidence, but you could put everything else together. These, these conspiracy theories and all these other things together. You could put all these together. These things together. But when somebody tell you in plain English, if you if you if you follow me to uh if you follow me to California, I'm gonna put a plague on you. That's plain English. A year later, you had COVID-19. Remind you, there was no outward signs of any kind of plagues. There was nothing going on, there was nothing questionable. Putting a plague on the country is a big claim. That's a big claim. That's not saying, oh, you're going to stomp your toe. You're going to lose a bank account if you play with me. I said a plague. That's a big claim that was fulfilled. That's what I'm trying to show you. These people put this on you, man. They put you in this position. And until you realize that, you won't see what the problem is. And therefore, you won't solve it. The problem is gang stalkers. The problem is secret societies whoever they may be, or other organizations, all gang stalking, thinking this is some end game apocalyptic game, bro. 
You've been watching too many movies. And when, and when it turns up one more notch, you can't say wait. And if you try to hurt me because it turns up, God is going to smash double time. Because I know how you think. I know how you think. When it turns up, you want to come after me. As soon as you do, we smashing that, smashing you, and smashing again. We smashing you, smashing again, and smashing until it's done. Yeah, I got my bases covered. I know how you think. When it gets bad enough, that's when you think you're going to end it. I don't think so, bro. You won't end it that way. God is going to prove that I will survive and you're going to lose. Okay? That's how the story is going to go, whether you like it or not. Okay? And if you find it amazing, if you find it interesting, then, you, you know, you have a sixth sense of what is interesting. <laughs> it's interesting for you to die. It's interesting for you to play with your community and not be able to come back. Because you ain't coming back from this. You ain't coming back from this. I'm not playing, bro. You ain't coming back from this. And you can, listen, you can say whoever you want. You can say whoever you want. And I promise you, I got enough faith to get it all done. I got enough faith to get it all done, bro. You can call whoever you want, bro. Whoever. Man, I'm, man listen, man. I'm already on other countries already, man. I'm, listen, bro. I'm smashing on the allies right now. I done moved on past America, man. I'm smashing on... This World War III has already started, man. I'm already smashing on other countries. You can know. You can know, bro. Listen, I'm not playing no games, bro. I'm bombing first. I'm already bombing first. I done moved past America. You ain't the only one now. You ain't the only one. I'm, I'm smashed. Don't flatter yourself. I'm smashing, bro. We already bombed first, bro. It's already World War III. That's what it is. It's the beginning. It's all, oh, man, we already smashing, bro. We already smashing. That's what it is, man. That's how it is. We ain't playing no games, man. You listen, you don't, you don't play with no man like me. You thought I was going to die a little ignorant, little, little delinquent, didn't you? Yeah, you thought I was going to die a little ignorant, little delinquent. Go down the corner somewhere. How about now? You, you, you confident in that? When I got alliance with Russia, are you confident? For all you little divas around this building, you confident you can play with me when I got, Rus when I got Russians that are aware of who I am? You sure about that? You sure you want to play with me? When Russians know who I am, you sure you want to play with that? That's a little bit of that's a little bit above your chicken eating politics, ain't it? Don't you think so? Don't you think you out of league playing with me, buddy? Yeah, that's why I'm at with mine, buddy. I'm, I, what you thought I was gonna sit here and let this country build up on me? I joined your enemy. That's what I supposed to do. That's what, yeah, I got you. I got you. I joined your enemy. That's what I did. Yeah, yeah. you want to play a carnival game while you was laughing? I was joining your enemy. That's what I was doing. Yeah, you can, what you going to do about it? <laughs> you ain't got no physical operations. You ain't got no physical operations. What you going to do? Huh? You can't, listen, you can't tell me who to have alliance with. You can't tell me who to have alliance with. I know the technicalities. And, 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 and listen, as long as you ain't got no physical operations, which I do not have, what can you really find? What can you really do? And you got child marriage, so that pulls all the good people off of me. Well, you got child marriage. Russia doesn't have child marriage. Ow. <laughs> that pulls everybody off of me. Oh, you forgot about that part. See how this works out? That make, look, that make all the good people look, look the other way when I'm smashing on you. Ain't nobody gonna jump in it. Cause you 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 a pedophiles by uh system. You you a pedophiles by system. Ain't nobody the pedophiles but you. You in a fantasy world wishing people would be pedophiles. That's what you're doing. Guess what? Guess what I'm doing to my enemies? I'm proving they pedophiles. Yeah, you yet to do that with me, aren't you? You're yet to do that with me, aren't you? I proved that they pedophiles. You got 43 states of child marriage. I proved it. Anybody doubt me? Anybody doubt what I'm saying? Okay, boom, Al. 
I've aspired to do what you're aspiring to do what I've already done. <laughs> you you want to be me. Listen, I got my enemy. They got 43 states of child marriage. Ow. A woe. A woe. Yeah, you can't be serious. Ain't no pedophile here. The only pedophile is the one that's marrying these children. Yeah, you can't accept it, can you, sucker? You can't accept it, can you, sucker? That makes you more of a sucker. That makes you more of a sucker. You can't accept the reality that your country has child marriage. Yeah, look at the suckers ducking it. They ducking it, ain't they? Suckers? Yeah, I thought it was a test of who's who. I thought we was, I thought we was having a contest. <laughs> I thought we was having a contest. We ain't having a contest now, are we? Oh, the, I heard the contest is over. You know why it's over? Because I got 43 states on them with child marriage. That's a seven hour. That's why it's over. Sucker, you don't play with no man like me. You do not play with the likes of me, buddy. Now you know it ain't hype. How is it hype when I got information that makes them lose, bruh? And before I had the information, they already, I already had respect. And then I came up through Christ Jesus with more information. So I was already, they already were seeing me a certain way, right? And then God blessed me with this information. So how am I hyped when I'm showing you, that when I already had a, a respect among the community, and then I pulled up with this, Okay, you can't be slow following me. This didn't, this, this didn't all happen overnight. But I've been have respect, though. That's the seventh hour. Oh, oh I've been have respect. Go check the records. I've been have respect. And then I pulled up with the 43 states of child marriage. Huh? And the information about them having child marriage under the Donald Trump administration, passed under the Donald Trump administration. How's that hype, bro? This is not basketball, man. Listen, man. That's listen, bro. Listen, listen, man. That's in the bag, bro. That's done, man. We proved time and time again, bro. Listen, man. In another person world, I know you don't want to give it to me, but somebody. But if it was you, you would have already said you won. If it was you, you would have already declared victory. You got child marriage. How can they ever come back from that? How they gonna ever come back from that? You, exp you explain it to me. Explain it to me what what what's gonna matter that they're gonna do, that's gonna beat that. What's gonna beat that? That they're gonna do out there. Anybody can tell me. Anybody got some answers? So we already listen, bro. Technically speaking, we already won, man. And then you got COVID nineteen, bro. Man, come on, man. You're trying to save face and you can't do it. How are you going to save face with that going on? You got 43 states of child marriage. You got COVID-19 still ravishing, still ravishing the community. You tell me how you're going to come back from that. Bro, look, man, you're trying to find weakness in me, man. Won't you see the weakness that's already presented to you from your country? Won't you be, listen, man, that's, a, listen, you being a lame. They got child marriage. End of story. End of story, bro. I'm sorry. It's over. Okay? Stop going through the motions. Stop playing games like you a cartoon. They got child marriage. We don't care what the technicalities of the situation is. See, this is the Jedi mind trick that, that has comforted our enemies. You know what they comforted in? Well, you got to have parental consent. Oh, you didn't think I knew that, did you? Let me help you with that. We don't care what the process is. We care that you made it an option that's possible that the American community can have sex with children. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's it right there. Oh, you didn't think I was ready for that, did you? I got ammo for that too. Because you, you, you going around telling people, well, it's with parental consent. Who cares? We look at it as it's an option that you have made and it's a law that you have made. That's available to the community. So it's your thought process that is the problem of marrying children. That's what we're looking at is that your thought process is lethal to children. 
of marrying them. Right? And now at any age. The new law says any age. That's how evil it has become. It's any age now. It's any age now. Huh? Listen, man. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. Won't you admit it, man? You played games with me, and you should have said what you said. You should have said what you wanted to say. But you treated me like I was a sucker or a buster. And then I pulled up and I listen, you can't listen. You can't ever think I'm a buster. You can't ever think I'm a sucker or a lame how. You got child marriage. I'm the one revealed it. I mean, come on, man. Please, man. Stop playing these these in, in high school games like you like I'm a sucker. How I'm a sucker. Make it make sense, bruh. They got 43 states of child marriage. I'm the one revealing it. The country got hit with COVID-19 for playing with me. Man, come on. Make it make sense, bro. Show me where I'm the lame at. Because I can show you with Mark, well, Mark, uh, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King Jr. didn't have no money. They didn't have millions of dollars. But they still took over, though. That's what I'm trying to show you. It's different positions in different lanes. This is the one that you overlooked. The one where we change everything without money. Malcolm X didn't change everything. Or MLK didn't change everything because he had a whole bunch of money. It, 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 what money had to do with it? What money had to do with the change that Malcolm X brought? That's the seventh hour. What money had to do with the, the change that Martin Luther King Jr. brought? Boy, that's good. That's good. That's good right there. 